We're going to talk about fraction word problems and choosing the correct operation. This is Lesson 5C. And, of course, if you've missed or skipped any previous videos, just click on the link for help. We solve fraction word problems with the same clue words we would solve whole number word problems. If we want to combine quantities to, or find a total, we would add. If we want to find a difference or take away a quantity or find how many more, how much less, how much is left, we would subtract. And if we want to combine an amount of equal groups or add the same number repeatedly or find a part of a whole object or group, we'd multiply. And if we wanted to split a quantity into equal parts or find how many equal parts are in a whole object, we would divide. So just so you know, we're not solving these for now. We're just identifying the correct equations. So here's our first problem. There are 59 senators and 118 members of the House of Representatives for the state of Illinois. If 40 senators and 99 members of the House went to a committee meeting, what fraction would represent the number who attended the meeting? So the numbers we can identify are there's 59 senators, there's 118 members of the House. If 40 senators and 99 members of the House went to the meeting, what fraction would we have? So would we do 59 over 118 to have 59 118ths and then add it to the 40 over 99 is 40 99ths? Or would we add these together and write them as a fraction and use 40 plus 99 as the numerator and 59 plus 118 as the denominator? Or would we add these two together and multiply it to these two added together? That would be 3. Or would we add these two together and multiply it to these two added together? Or is there not enough information? Well, look at it this way. If all of the senators and all of the members of the House did go to the meeting, how many would be there? Well, we'd have to add these two together, wouldn't we? The 59 plus the 118. So if you think of it that way, that's the number in all. That's the number of the entire group that could go to the meeting. And the 40 plus 99 would be the amount that actually did go. So it would be 59 plus 118 for the total members and 40 plus 99 for the men members who actually attended the meeting. And because that's the total of the members, this 59 plus 118 is our denominator. That's how many are in the group in all. The 40 plus 99 would represent the part of the group that would go to the meeting. So just remember, fractions are just little division problems. It might have even have said 40 plus 99 in parentheses divided by, here, let me do it that way, 40 plus 99 divided by 59 plus 118. See? So that's what this says, because that fraction bar means division, okay? And that would tell us what fraction of the group would attend the meeting, okay? I know this can be confusing. Stick with me. Jade put two and a half cups of bird seed into a bird feeder. The next day, one-fifth of the seed was eaten, how much bird seed was still in the bird feeder. So which of these equations would help us solve the problem? There's two and a half cups in the bird feeder. The next day, one-fifth was eaten. Well, that means one-fifth was gone, right? Would we multiply the two numbers together? Would we add them? Would we subtract two and a half minus one-fifth? Or would we do one-fifth plus two and a half? Or is there not enough information? Well, if that was eaten, that means we need to take it away. It was gone. It was removed, right? So it would be two and a half, which is the original amount, minus the one-fifth that was the amount eaten, and we need to find how much is left. So we subtract, okay? Let's try another one. Of 248 students, seven-eighths owned a smartphone. How many students owned a smartphone? All right. Are we going to add these two numbers together? Are we going to subtract and do 248 minus 7 eighths? Are we going to divide? Are we going to multiply? Or is there not enough information? That's how many in all, and that's how many own a smartphone. We need to figure out what 7 eighths of 248 is. 
So we're going to multiply because we need to find part of this entire group. That's the entire group of students. That's how many have a smartphone, 7 A's. So to find part of a group, we're going to multiply the 248 times the 7 A's. We're going to get into this more in Lesson 7, okay? How about this? Emma finishes an 8.5 mile hiking trail in 4 hours. How many miles per hour did she walk? Are we going to divide the 8.5 by 4 or the 4 by the 8.5? Are we going to multiply the two numbers together? We're going to add the two numbers together. We're going to subtract. So what if it said 8 miles in 4 hours? Would that help your brain figure this out for the operation? So if a fraction is confusing you, take it away. She went 8 miles in 4 hours. Well, that means she went 2 miles an hour. We're dividing. So the answer would be number 1, 8.5 divided by 4. That's the length of the trail. That's how long it took her. If we do this division problem, it'll tell us how many miles per hour she walked. We divide the length of the trail by the number of hours. Okay? So sometimes taking the fraction away can help you. And even in a problem like the bird feeder one, instead of one-fifth, tell yourself there's a one there and that's just a two. If she put two cups into the bird feeder and the next day one cup was gone, well, that means one cup's left, right? That was a subtraction problem. Then you can put the fractions back in and solve it for real because at least now you know what operation to use. Okay? So you should now be ready to do the skill focus on page 75. And if you do well and you're okay, then you can move on to the next lesson. If you're having trouble, remember, retreat, regroup, and attack again. So because we're going to be adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing fractions in lesson seven, you need to know what you're doing now before you move forward, okay? So if you are having trouble and you feel like her, before we go to the next lesson, there's a video on clue words and word problems. There's a video on identifying a division problem. There's going to be all these grade three, grade four, and the GED math videos from this playlist are going to be linked in this description so that you can watch them and help yourself, okay? I'm trying to help you, but I can't click it and watch it for you, okay? So our next video is fractions on a number line. We're going to see how fractions compare to whole numbers and to each other on a number line, okay? So you're going to be all right. Just take those little steps at a time. And the minute you start to feel like you're losing it, go back and retreat and regroup and figure out what's going on before moving forward. If you have trouble and you keep moving forward, then the trouble's just going to grow. Okay? All right. I think you can do this. I'm proud of you. And I'll see you next video. Bye.